What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again. I'm just gonna pick, fix my uh, pop filter here real quick. Sorry, guys. Anyways, uh, we are back once again with Contraband Police. And uh, starting a new day here, looks like we got a letter and the newspaper. Um, the newspaper is the same thing it was yesterday, which is that there was armed smugglers from that one country. The, uh, it, was it the Kingdom of Italy or whatever? I can't remember. Um, but we've got a letter. You communist trash. Because of you, my family barely made it out alive. When the bandits found out that I would not pay the money back on time, they set fire to our house and killed the dog. Uh... So I'm guessing that in the last video we rejected some guy who said he needed to get through for his family. And, you know, we basically he was from a country that we have a contraband ban on, which is uh, the kingdom of Erekai, not Tali. Tali's uh, something else. So we are still expecting a couple of smugglers, so let's go ahead and let this car through, and let's take a look. So uh, one's going to be age 35, and the other one's got a partial registry of ATS. So we're looking for 35-year-olds, which... Maybe not this guy? Then again, I don't know, maybe. It's a lot of, a lot of gray, but... Let's take a look here. That does appear to be his face. White Dove has been helping my countrymen for years. There were no weapons there. Your party is lying to continue to weaken my country. Well, I... Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, Nezakot, Karema. That appears to be correct. H9QQ, WHKN. That looks good. Um... July, that's good. She doesn't have any cargo, as far as I can see. I gotta double check the birthday. I didn't really pay attention to the birthday. And we do know that there is um, expected smugglers, and we gotta check to see if any of these smugglers are, or any of these people are 35, because then that's, that's who they expect the smuggler to be 35. Um, so we, again, can just do this. He's way younger than I would have expected based on his face. Those are the thick old glasses and like gray hair and handlebar mustache and everything. But uh, yeah, I mean, everything seems to be in order. His, uh, his information all matches. It's all up to date. Um, driver doesn't want to trade. Rado yeah, well, um, so I don't know. I'm kind of curious if there's going to be any retribution from that guy. I mean, obviously he said he hopes we suffer the same fate that basically he did. It sucks that that happened to him, but at the same time, you know, it's like, get the rules. And I don't know him, so for all I know, he's, uh, you know, he's like, some smuggler or something speaking of which I think this guy might be a, a smuggler here he's 35 he's the age of uh, one of our expected smugglers um, what was the the other one ATS okay well that's not ATS but he is the correct age um, so let's take a look well his name's incorrect I can see that already uh, let's see, valid to December of 1980, so this is expired. So, name and expiration date. Face appears to be correct. Um, we are going to have him get out of the vehicle here, because he is the age of one of our suspected smugglers. Um, can I look in here a little bit better? Now, they are pretty sneaky with where they will put the the drugs and stuff inside here, so. Maybe. So, we're looking with our blacklight, because they will usually 
mark the uh, the drugs with like a little snake emblem. Not always, but sometimes. And of course, this guy could be a 35 year old guy that's not smuggling too. That's definitely a possibility. Um, and I'm not gonna break into his stuff if we don't see this snake emblem anywhere. So it looks looks clean. Now I could I could if I really wanted to, and he could be smuggling stuff. I could just start go like cutting into his car and stuff like that. But I don't want to do that. Um, just because we're denying him doesn't mean I have to be a dick to him. So let him get back into his vehicle. Um, again, he's still failing. He's still not being permitted in because his name and his, uh, his expiration dates don't match. So that's, uh, that's going to be a fail. Well, this is new. All right, got one. God, they just keep coming. Out. Nice. Well, I'm wounded, so that's not ideal. Oh, ho, ho. did I just, uh, punch up Factions. So there's a couple of factions attacking us again. This time you handled it. Be careful. The attacks may get worse. Uh, so I think this is the Obernakovs gang or whatever that just attacked us. Uh, criminal group operating in Karakata, they are involved in smuggling, arms dealing, and kidnapping for ransom. They are in constant conflict with the police. Uh, Anti-government resistance movement led by Mikhail Guerin. Uh, liberation from the, uh, the communists. Well, that was, uh, that was, uh, kind of intense. I think, uh, <laughs> I think what we might do here now, uh, I don't know if it's worthwhile to, to get this other guy now, but kind of tempted to get the sniper. It's either that or we, we upgrade our warehouse, which is also tempting. We could upgrade our guys too, so they get like submachine guns and body armor and stuff like that. But I feel like. Oh, he only gets a pistol though to start off. Hmm. But I'm guessing he gets a sniper rifle once he gets upgraded, right? You'd think. Hey, let's get him, and then, yeah, let's see the upgrade yeah, to the rifle. So he'll probably be one of the first guys we work to upgrade. And we'll uh, we'll do that, too, while we're at it. Let's upgrade our warehouse, and then let's get some more people through here. So the other guy did turn around and ran off back to his country, which is fine. We were going to deny him. I would have gotten paid. I didn't get paid, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. 
Hello. Let's make sure it's ADT again, right? I keep forgetting ATS. Or the queen personally commissioned the shipment of weapons. Nobody hates Ekra more than she does. Uh, so he's one of our fellow countrymen. Vladislav, that appears to be correct. Ilgen, that appears correct too. S559, 41 D1 is accurate. Uh, 4th of June, 81 is good. He's 35, however. He, so he is, uh, again... Matching the uh, the date of our suspected smuggler here. And just because he's from our country doesn't mean he's not the one smuggling. Uh, except for he is. Right there, backseat. He's, uh, he's got the emblem of the smuggling out here too. So we'll... Oh god, yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff in here. I have to get another knife here. Uh, didn't want to close it. Wanted that. From now on, you can order from Vlad's mobile shop. Oh, excellent. Shop will be available until the end of the current business day. You will find it at the police garage. Interesting. Okay, so we can actually order contraband even from him, which is interesting. So he kind of kind of bashed a little bit on the other guy for getting caught, I guess. Doing that, but... I guess maybe that's exactly what it was as he was bashing on for getting caught. I think, uh... There we go. Okay, so that one doesn't open. So, I don't know that we're going to find anything else, but not all contraband is marked. I think that's probably realistically, though, all we're going to find, but we can do this and cut this all open. This the downside to doing this and then not finding stuff is that, like, our tools wear down. So, if you're cutting into a bunch of stuff and just damaging stuff that you're not going to find contraband, uh, you're just wasting money. You are arrested, my friend. It's kind of a funny line. All right. You stay there. Maybe should have hired a prison guard instead, but that's fine. Uh, where is the guy? There he is. All right, get that cleaned up for me. All right. Thwarted smuggling, hundred dollars. Another broken window. Ah, the rolling down of the windows. Don't miss that. Uh, that appears good. That matches up there. DSY0 43AO. That is good. Valid to May. That is good. Uh, do you want to earn some money? I'd like to buy something from you. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Your plate. Okay. That's good. That's good. What do you have? Uh, I don't. Well, I don't really need any of this stuff. A pack of cigarettes for forty-four dollars is what he'll buy them for. But oh man, 
Oh yeah, I think the laundry detergent, I saw somebody saw it was like 24. Yeah, I don't know, I guess like that's part of it, is just buying and, and selling and trading with these guys here, but... I don't know. Anyways, we need to, uh, actually, shoot, where are you from? I've got your documents, I don't need to see that. Um, oh yeah, he's from Eric I, so he can't even, he's not going to be able to come in anyways, but let's go ahead and inspect his cargo. Again, you know, I, I said this in the last video, but, you know, it might seem unnecessary to inspect the cargo of somebody we're just going to deny, but because we do have to, um, you know, actually fund our own post here, um, we need to try and catch smugglers, so maybe there's a chance that he's, you know, not allowed in, but he's also still trying to, like, smuggle, too. So we're just going to go over this all with a black light, check inside the stuff that we can check inside of easily without damaging it. I'm not necessarily expecting to find anything, but you never know. Ooh, oh. What are you doing over there? He even turned around like he was in trouble. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he didn't catch me doing anything. Okay. He looks, he looks good to go in terms of that, but unfortunately, we do have to deny him. Well, because this right here. Okay. So he's got some cargo here. It's from our country. He's got soap and luggage. A lot of soap. So let's see. Doesn't match the plate, or the partial plate we have for our suspected uh, smuggler, our final one here. Uh, YG... 7744J8 looks good. Yvesi. Now well, the name is misspelled. And let's. It's spelled up here and on the passport correctly, but the citizen ID has misspelling on it. And let's see. Yeah, you definitely gotta be careful when checking these engines. And if you guys watched the the last episode, I mean, you guys will have seen I almost missed something because of uh, my clipboard being in the way. Did I mark it as incorrect? I did not. Okay. Well, this is uh, awkward because I know you live here, but you can't enter the country. Uh, I mean. No, I'm pretty confident that your name was misspelled. So that's going to be everything for today. So then, if we want, we can now go through and, you know, take our, uh, our smuggler and stuff in. But let's take a look here, because I want to see... Call for supply... Oh. <coughs> Well, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't realize I was going to do that. The online shopping, you call him on the phone. <laughs> he comes in the van with the cash register and everything in the back. It's amazing, I love it. Okay, well, since we got him here, um, let us see. We need a knife. And we need a crowbar. We'll get that too. 
We're doing pretty good on ammo. I don't... I mean, we could upgrade to, like, a pistol or a shotgun or something, or a uh, submachine gun or a shotgun, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put this other stuff in storage here. What do we got left in here? Well, it's it's pretty much just all supplies for uh, like weapons and equipment and stuff like that. Probably don't need to buy anymore for a little bit. Uh, the bigger storage would be nice. We're not quite there to needing it yet. Same thing with the prisoners. We, I mean, we don't really need any further room. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is a potential escape attempt. What is this building here? Can I go in here? I guess this is, uh, maybe this is like the upgraded house. I can't remember what that looked like on the images, but I'm guessing that's what it is. So, yeah, we have, I think, two more guards we can get? Is that, I, oh, I can't look in there, I have to look in the computer. There's another guard post right here, which is where the one guy stands, and then, oh yeah, the other guy's the prison guard, so he'd be inside the building. And then, yeah, we can upgrade these guys with, like, submachine guns and armor and stuff like that. But, uh, let us go to sleep, comrades. So let's take a look. We've got, we got some costs. We've got, oh. Crack check. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. We had upgrades. We had uh, property maintenance, salaries, vehicle maintenance, order supplies. So we, we lost a lot of money today. But with that being said, you know, we got some upgrades right away, which is good. Um, I don't know. Prison break. Hi. Yeah, well, he's gone. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I probably should have gotten the prison guard before the sniper. I, yeah, I don't really know what my thoughts were there, but... Yeah, he looks cool up there. Can we get up there? I'm guessing not. How did he get up there? There isn't, uh... There isn't a ladder or anything. How did he get up there? <laughs> you can, like, stand on top of the boxes and, like, jump up there. Ah, oh, almost. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's do this. I, I got time for maybe another, like, one vehicle check, and then I, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. It's kind of a weird time on this, but let's take a look. Okay, a couple pigs. I don't know why I yelled that. Uh, well, I think we still have, yeah, we still have the commodity exchange thing going on here. So, unfortunately, I don't think this guy's going to be getting in just right away. That does appear to be him. But entry regulations are going to prevent him from entering. Uh, it's got two pigs, that is accurate. I will not be cutting the pigs open for contraband. Although they could hide the contraband in the pigs, I'm sure. Like, the pigs would probably eat it. You just have to package it up and make sure that they don't, you know, ingest whatever the contraband is in such a way that it's unusable. Okay, well, that uh, looks pretty good have you get back in your vehicle uh, let's actually check the rest of the information here see if there's anything else we're technically denying him on but I'm guessing it's just the one it's valid okay um, yeah it looks like it's just going to be on the 
the, the entry regulations is the sole reason he's currently being denied. Let's see what he's got for uh, for sale here. Buys cigarettes for twenty two. It sells the laundry detergent for twelve. I don't know if that's a good price for the rest of that stuff, but the the detergent we know we can make like double off of. All right, guys. Yeah, that's going to be it for today. Kind of a kind of a weird one, just leaving vehicles out there at the, <laughs> the card post. I should have just ended at the uh, end of the last day, but I had a little bit of extra time. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching once again. I am definitely having a blast at the game. It's definitely throwing a lot of things I didn't anticipate at me between these like rebel groups that'll ambush you when you're driving prisoners around well the fact that you have to like actually drive the prisoners yourself instead of just them getting picked up and it just doesn't all take place at the uh the checkpoint's great but the fact that like you'll, you'll, you'll get ambushed and you need your guards and stuff because they're actually going to help you out in this firefight to some extent I would imagine they didn't really seem to do too much, though, I'll be honest. I feel like I did most of the heavy lifting in terms of actually killing the uh, the attackers, but hey, it's okay. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you all in the next one.